Sanskrit one. I am Kashi Joshi from Standard 7B of Tiwan Medical School. Now, today's my project is Sewage Treatment Plant. Pause. from the houses and industries of the Andhava city is collected through this pipe into this tank. Then, we have to transfer this water into the receiving tank. For that, we need a water pump. All the dirty water collected from the houses and drainages and industries is collected through this pipe into this tank. Then, to transfer this water into the receiving chamber, we have a water water here. From the tank, the water comes from the tank. Then, after the receiving chamber, comes the pre and screening chamber. In screening and the green chamber, the branches and leaves of trees, food packets and wrappers are collected in this grill. So, all the major objects cannot pass through this grill. Then, we have prepared a bed here and on its bed, the pebbles and all the heavy particles are settled down here because of the force of gravity. And all the major things such as stones, screws, etc. are collected down here because of the force of gravity. Then, after the screening and grid chamber, comes the steaming chamber. All the oil and grease is removed from this chamber. So, now our water is almost pure. After the steam chamber, comes the primary sedimentation chamber. The heavy particles which do not settle down in grid chamber and steaming chamber settle down here on its bed. of gravity to settle down on its bed. These are not heavier than the pebbles settled down here, but fine particles which are not so much large nor so much small. Now comes the aeration chamber. In the aeration chamber, we have a fan settled here and due to the pressure of water, the fan rotates. And due to the fan's rotation, a form, some form is formed around it. So, all this microbiotic organic matter is does not proceed to the secondary sedimentation chamber. Now comes the secondary sedimentation tank. In the secondary sedimentation tank, the extra fine organisms, which are very much small, such as very small pebbles and sand, which do not settle down in the primary sedimentation tank, settle down here. You can see. Those which are a very extra fine, which we cannot even see by naked eyes, is filtered in the filtration tank. In the filtration tank, we have such medias such as charcoal, gravel, sand and cloth. The gravels purify the water by taking all the minor particles which are not even filtered from all these processes. The sand also filters the water and the charcoal is used to take out the foul order which is collected from the gutter or the sewage. After the charcoal, there is a layer of cloth. The cloth purifies the crumbs of charcoal, sand and even some little pebbles. So after that, it goes to the disinfection chamber. The disinfection chamber is the very important. The disinfection chamber disinfects all the water collected from here and kills all the microorganisms present in the water which cannot be seen by naked eyes. 
and then after it is disinfected we need to purify it and check if it is it can be used as drinking water and for other purposes for that we have a laboratory the laboratory checks if the water is purified correctly or not if the ph value is less than 7.1 or 7 then though such water is known as acid water which is harmful to drink and the water above 7 or 7.1 is called base water which is also very harmful to drink so we should check if the water is correctly purified or not if not then it will go through all the processes again processes are controlled by the control room as we all know that in the future and even in the present there is much rain for compared to the past times so this water can be used by recirculating through sewage and can be used for drinking purposes and for other various purposes such as cooking washing clothes vessels bathing etc so this is the project which can be very much useful to save time water and energy Thank you